Welcome guys to another episode of The Candy Show. I'm your host, Candy. You already know where we're at. We are at the Red Curb Improv Comedy Club. Once again, guys, this is sponsored by Comedy Junkies. Make sure you are following them on Instagram and Facebook. Well, we have another guest, another special guest here tonight. And I'm going to let him introduce himself. Are you ready, Mr. Guest? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so please let everyone know who you are and what is your role here tonight. Uh, my name is comedian Dusty Lewis. I'm based out of Newport, Kentucky, by way of Cincinnati. We pretty much share everything. I just a river between us. So <laughs> every time I'm traveling, everybody think I'm from Cincinnati, but I'm proud of being a Kentucky boy. And uh, I would be their headliner here at the, at, at the Red Curb Improv Comedy Club. Every time I come to Indy, I always find these little jewels, like, because, you know, it ain't as um, known for a lot of other things outside of Indianapolis and things like that. So it's always dope, like, because, like, on the way here, my dude's like, where are we going? I'm like, bro, I sent you the flyer. Like, I need to be there by this time. And then we pulled up. I was like, oh, it's a comedy club. It gave me more comfort in what I do. So it was like, it was a relief. So I'm glad to be here. Okay, tell me how many times have you been up here? Have you been up here twice? Well, given the fact that you just hop, skip, and jump away, you've been yeah, up here. Yeah, this is my first time here, but I was just in uh, Naptown last weekend. Weekend before last, I did the Helium. I was up at the Helium. So, uh, wow, the Helium, yeah. awesome. I like the Helium. And you know what's so crazy? When I first did the Helium, I didn't know it existed up there. Because I used to go up there before with Ike and different comics that I know, and we would do uh, was it jokes and notes and different little hauls and things. But when I had seen it, I'm like, why ain't nobody ever told me about this place? Because some of them don't. It ain't the lane for everybody, from what I know. You know how this game goes. That, so, but that is so it was true. dope to get to perform there because that's how I started. Was in the comedy club through the Funny Bones and improv and stuff. So, okay, how long has it been since you started? I've been doing comedy 16, 17 years now. Okay, so uh, pretty, like I, pretty much my my life at this point. Oh, okay, so this yeah. is professional. Oh yeah, yeah, this is all I got. You know, uh, you know, part two of no what comes with me right now, but. My whole little journey was a blessing. I was blessed. So. Natural? Did this come natural to you, or is this something that you just um, ventured in upon a, a, a life situation? Um, I had a friend sign me up for a showcase night because he was working at the Funny Bone, and uh, my first night I beat thirty-five comics. And at first, I felt like a feat, like, "Oh, that's crazy." But as long as I've been in the game, it's just like, "All right, you're right." <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I, once I once I started taking it serious and loving the craft, that's when it became real to me. Like working on timing and transitions and setups and being my own style of a comic. So it's like been pretty dope. I think the journey is gonna be the best part of my whole comedy experience, I think. Now, do you contribute everything? Do you write? Do you tell me a little um, bit about what you contribute to? I write your career? premises, like I take notes. I don't I can't really write out a joke. Okay. Like you get, I'm more of a storyteller anyway, mm -hmm. but when I like start at comedy, you know, you think like, all right, I'm gonna do what they do. You're supposed to ride and all that. It just never clicked with me that way. But it's like one of them like even outside of comedy, I'm quiet, I don't do a lot of talking and outside of friends and things like that. But when I'm on stage, it's like a little click thing that turn it on and turn yes. it off real quick when you get it. Don't, it ain't no turn, it's just like a thing. I think it's more the pressure of like, all right, I'm up here. You know what I mean? So I just, I always had, I guess I had, a, people say I got a natural knack for it. Like, a, I got a comfortability. Now, you already know what's popping right now, what's hot right now on the internet. I'm a cat, I'm on cat side. Okay, okay. Because he ain't told no lies, for real. Okay. I think it's more, It's a, the, the biggest problem is how we deliver the message. Mm -hmm. But it's still a message, it's still Jews there. And he got a lot of receipts. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's still a level of like, why now? And why, like, you get what I mean? I think nobody trusts nobody enough to really be honest or in a moment. Like, you get what I mean? So as much as they enjoy what he's saying based on information and kind of exposing certain elements to the thing, it's still a that little part of you's like, why are you doing that now? though? Like, you could have said this 20 years ago based on what you're saying, but. But I think it's definitely showed a different side to him. Like even when he was talking about his own life, mm -hmm. I you see how he kind of straight. Yeah, he didn't give you too much of what makes him how he ticks. Well, you you already know what's coming down the line for him too. Yeah. I mean, come on, yeah. you're gonna give 
people enough because mm -hmm. when it's time for you to drop your situation, because mm -hmm. he is near and have a special, mm -hmm. uh, and then anything else from that, you know, you're going to be one to tune in. And do you think that's going to add more pressure to the uh, quote unquote quality of what he's going to do? Like, is it like, is it going to set the standard to his special? Like, is it going to have to be like, ah, oh, that was dope? Like, you well, got to I mean, you got to pull it. It's got to be dope. It but, can't be just funny. It got to be amazing. Well, that's the thing, and it's interesting you even ask me that because would every time you get every time when you get off the stage, do you look back and see well what could you have improved? Oh, uh, every time. Okay. It'd be times because I I like um like I said I'm not like a storyteller, conversationalist. So sometimes a laugh can lead to like a genuine question. You get what I mean? And usually when I'm, it's like weird because I uh, while I'm talking and doing my shit, I'm still thinking. Okay. So sometimes that these little things spark. So when it sparks, it ain't that I got to think about it. It just opened my mind to, oh, damn. Like, so what if, like, you hear what I mean? Like, all these other little aspects are running into it. That's how I built my set as a comic. Like, like I never really changed anything. I just added, took away, tweaked, made better, got rid of. Like, or sometimes I just get so lost in it. I have a little moment where I be like, damn, I forgot about that joke. Like, you get what I mean? And it just fits the moment. So it works better in that moment when I thought it probably wasn't a good joke before. It was just like delivered wrong. But just certain elements and situations, you finally get it. Like, ah, shit. Like, how I couldn't think of that five years ago. But, <laughs> like, but, but that's the time is everything. Yeah. But let yeah. me also speak on that. And um, did that affect you as a comedian? Meaning, do you think that whatever has happened in that time of his two, three hour stint, that that's changed something for you? Does it put more pressure on you? Does it, um, do you feel like you might have to draw back on something that you might? All it, all it did for me, for real, it just see, it showed me, stay yourself. Like, don't go too far, whatever way. Like, you, cause you at the end of the day, you still, you're going to make a choice. You have a choice. Nobody makes you do anything. You choose to allow somebody to allow you to do something or somebody to allow you to whatever, but you got to, got to balance that with being who you are. Cause it's going to protect you to grow. So like, you get what I mean? Like you're going to, that's what creates longevity in us. That's why people are still able to keep watching certain people cause they're being their self. Like you almost can't wait to see what they think at a certain point. You know what I mean? If, even if it's good or bad, like, you know what I mean? But definitely guy, it just shows me like whatever he going through or whatever sparks this whole thing, I can tell that's how he is. Like, you know what I mean? He's being himself. And you know, overall to me, it actually put a little bit more spotlight on yeah. comedians, yeah. you know, to where let's say the industry and just as an example, the industry might have been so fant you know, phased and so in tune with mm -hmm. what somebody else was doing uh, in a different industry. And mm -hmm. now all of a sudden all the light is shined on, mm -hmm. on the uh, comedy side. Because he comedy never world. really said anything outside of anyone he didn't have a personal situation with. He didn't just randomly pull little comics because anytime they talked about a comic outside of who he was speaking on, it was all praise. He didn't like hate on nobody. He didn't like he didn't let them little side lows things take him away from what what he was his point was of being there. So I like I thought it was dope. Oh, exactly, exactly. So let's 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 go ahead and pivot towards what is what's we want. What are we gonna expect tonight? My best. And I always just let you know, candy shows natural, raw, real, uncut. And mm -hmm. yeah, so y'all just saw that this fell down. So <laughs> we just gonna <laughs> uh, move it on <laughs> I almost wanted to help you a little bit, like put my thumb out there. So. Oh my gosh, it is so raw. <laughs> it is so unexpected. I ain't even tripping. But go ahead. Um, what can we expect from you tonight? Um, to to get who I am. Like I hope when I'm done, you get get it. Like you get me. Like you get what I mean. Like because a lot of times, like because it ain't like I don't know that I'm funny or don't think like like shout out to Ike he always like it's a it's a different way of how people talk to you about your craft and they I get a lot of support in my ability of doing it to where it almost puts a pressure on me like to be this person y'all see like you get what I mean you and I and people. I love it but it's still like a little that's why it takes for me to be up there like before every show I'm nervous like thank you so much for saying like even that this because... conversation is helping me 
because I'm I'm a pacer Here too. I'm a pacer and I I'm on crutches so I can't pace. Yeah. So this conversation is <laughs> helping me from the little tweaky <laughs> things. You like, you know what I mean? Look, did that just help you though? A little, a little bit. bit. It just it's, fell it's, down by the accident. universe is working with me. So <laughs> I, I got a feeling. Give me a, a crown apple and we'll probably be all righty tonight. Okay. You and I are going to be together because this is <laughs> hilarious. Uh, but you need people in your corner that's going to be able yes, to help elevate yes, you and yes. help scare you out of your um, scaredness. Because people to tell you the truth. Listen, I tell everybody all the time, and I don't mind saying it again. I'm always nervous mm -hmm. when I get in front of a crowd or it could be in front of anything. I'm just always nervous mm -hmm. until I get in my moment. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, it's gone. Mm -hmm. It's gone from there. All right. Let everyone know. Since you're headlining tonight, I know you just have definitely a little bit of time left. Let bit. everyone know <laughs> how they can uh, reach you, book you, follow you. Uh, our social media, uh, Comedian Dusty Lewis. I don't got a Facebook no more. Somebody hacked my Facebook and it's gone, gone. But Facebook too personal anyway, like a lot of times. So I'm, I'm more IG, tiktok -y anyway. So uh, Comedian Dusty Lewis on all, so, on all social media. Like you type in the name Dusty Lewis and I'm going to probably be the only black dude to pop up. <laughs> <laughs> well, not, not dusty. I'm just like, you know what I mean? <laughs> see that, see that reaction. That's why you, I can't wait for you to see me because it, it ain't that it's negative, but you're going to be like, okay. Like it's a, funny. I'm sorry. It's yeah. just funny. Now, because it, makes me, it people, makes me stand out. Yeah. See, yeah. you know, it wasn't that way growing up, but <laughs> oh, I already know. <laughs> I can just imagine. <laughs> Spell Dusty just because some people spell things differently. So. D-U-S-T-Y-L-E-W-I-S. All right. Well, thank you so much, Dusty. We're going to get on up out of here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, You already know. Now, make sure you are following the candy and show. And I did look at you the whole time. I ain't really look at you. Uh, hey, you're good. You're good. <laughs> You already know. Make sure you are following the official Instagram page, and that is Candy Talk Show. Make sure you are liking, subscribing, share, commenting on also the official YouTube page, and that is Candy Productions, and the number two, Candy Productions, number two, two at the end. All right, guys, we will be right back. See you next time. Bye.